Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for May the 23rd, brought to you today by Senior Editor Matt Dennis. In our top news story, the FDA approves Sanofi and Regeneron Pharmaceuticals Kevzara for the treatment of adults with moderately to severely active rheumatoid arthritis. The companies noted that the wholesale acquisition cost of the therapy in the US will be $39,000 per year for the 200mg and 150mg doses. Also in the news, the UK's Competition and Markets Authority alleged that Merck & Co. operated an anti-competitive discount scheme for Remicade to restrict competition from biosimilar versions. Merck said it was cooperating with the probe, which began in 2015, and was confident the proceedings would show it had complied with competition law. In other news, documents released ahead of an FDA advisory panel meeting concluded that the benefits of Puma Biotechnology's breast cancer drug Neratinib outweigh its risks. Agency staff found that therapy was effective, despite raising questions about its tolerability, given the frequent dose interruptions, reductions and discontinuations observed. In addition, BioVerative agreed to acquire True North Therapeutics for up to $825 million, including an upfront payment of $400 million. Through the deal, BioVerative will obtain global rights to True North's lead candidate, TNT009, for the treatment of cold agglutinin disease. And finally, Alexion's Chief Financial Officer Dave Anderson will stand down from his position at the end of August, following his predecessor's departure in December last year. The company also announced the retirement of R&D head Martin Mackay at the end of the year, as well as the appointment of Brian Goff as Chief Commercial Officer. To read these and other stories in full, visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today. 